going to Six Flags. We're having a double header kind of day. Good morning, guys. We are at PetSmart because Griffin has a grooming appointment today. Ooh. And he's a little crazy right now. Go potty, maybe? He'll probably just tinkle. And on the fire hydrant, appropriate. Stereotype. Griffin's favorite things are not getting groomed. He gets very, very he anxious at PetSmart. Pet he, loves he loves it. He's just anxious because there's so much going on. And it's pet adoption Saturday. You okay, baby? Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, baby. Will made us some delicious waffles for breakfast, brunch, I guess it's kind of brunch. Mm -hmm. But he just dropped his bacon on the floor and he was very sad. I'm gonna pluck hairs off of it. <laughs> it's so disgusting. But he's still eating it. No bacon. No bacon wasted. My waffle is delicious. I've already eaten most of it, but it is a chocolate chip waffle. And I just like butter on mine. I don't eat syrup on mine. And it's crispy and it's delicious just how I like it. I'm also working on yesterday's vlog. Well, we are here to pick up Griffin from PetSmart. And we're both very, very excited to see what he looks like. I hope they did a good job. I don't know. The lady that called Will and said he was ready said that she really enjoyed grooming him. She liked his coarse kind of uh, wire. Wire, wirey hair. So hopefully he looks good. I'm so excited, but this place is crazy. Boy, is thirsty, thirsty. Oh my goodness, look how cute. I'll have to give the full effect oh, when we get home. <laughs> He is dying of thirst. He looks so much like a poodle. I can't even handle it. Like he's even got the poof on his head, kind of. It's so, I think it's shorter than we've ever gotten it. So this is Griffin's new do. Doesn't he look so good? How you look, Griff? You like it? Nah, -uh, he's sit. Stay. He just looks so good, Grieving. <laughs> he just wants to sit. Why don't we give him his new bone? You want your new bone that we bought you? He's wow. so handsome. Oh my gosh, he's just got the little poodle poof on top his of his ears head. Are more accentuated. I know. Got a new antler bone and a new little yellow chicken that you want. Are you so handsome? Well, we are at Hurricane Harbor. We were lucky enough to find a parking spot because this place is crazy. And they said they weren't even charging for parking because it was so full. And so anyways, we're about to go inside and I think we're gonna hang out here for a little while and then maybe meet Keaton and Taylor later at Six Flags. This guy next to us right now is uh, parking and he thinks, I don't know, he's like being really timid about parking. I think he, he just had a bad angle to get into it, so he had to like back up several times and get in. Like, get I don't know, it's way. weird. I don't know, maybe we'll park really bad. But anywho, we're gonna go have some fun, but we're leaving the camera here so it doesn't get accidentally stolen. We might get some GoPro footage, but I don't know. You excited? Hey. Look at that OKC shirt. Into Six Flags. We're having a double header kind of day. Hurricane Harbor was fun, but it was also just like, I don't know, if you've ever been to Hurricane Harbor, you know that it's just kind of stressful and dirty and hot. And But it was fun. We rode mostly like, we did three body slides and then one inner tube slide. Yep. So it was fun. We had a good time, and now we're about to go meet Keaton, Taylor, Quinlan, and Emerson for some Six Flags fun. And I'm pretty excited. I'm glad we get to hit up both this weekend because we're trying to like get the most bang for our buck out of our season passes. So this is a good way to do it in one weekend. That way it doesn't take two days. It just takes one day and you get both parts. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You gotta listen up, listen up. There's not a thing that I can't get from you 
Boy, I don't need that much. Need hey guys, we made it back from Six Flags. I'm sorry we didn't um, vlog more while we were there. We, we were just tired, and I think doing the Hurricane Harbor Six Flags thing in one day is just, it's pretty exhausting. Um, so I apologize for the minimal vlog footage, but at the same time you've got, I mean, we've done a Six Flags vlog before with lots of roller coaster footage. I mean, you guys have seen that before, so I guess the other alternative would have been repeating. It was fun. We got to hang out with Quinlan, Emerson, Keaton, and Taylor. Uh, the three, their three older girls were spending out with their honey. One thing we figured out was that you can, so we have the, we have the season pass, uh, dining. Yeah, season pass dining. Thing. It's like you pay like $90 and you get to eat all season. So you get like designated meals. So you get like a lunch, a dinner, and a snack. And you get like a souvenir cup with free, free, free refills every every time you go. Lunch, dinner, snack. Well, we got a snack at Hurricane Harbor because we are like, let's test it. Let's see if you can get a snack at one park and then go to the other park and still use that snack. And get a snack at the other one. So we got a snack at Hurricane Harbor. We got a pretzel. We went to... Uh, Six Flags. We got a snack there. We got extra fries with like our dinner. So it's pretty cool that you can, you know, get like a meal at one park and then go to the other park and still get a meal with your dining uh, dining card. So it's like working the system. I'm sure Six Flags is going to watch this vlog and then end that pretty quickly. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think we have enough traffic on our channel for Six Flags to watch it. <laughs> Hurricane Harbor felt really felt really nice today. It was 103 outside, so the water felt really great. But I, th I think I prefer Six Flags over Hurricane Harbor if I had to choose. Because Hurricane Harbor, it's smaller, so it's a lot more congested. Just everything, like the parking lot the park itself, the lazy river, like everything is just more congested. Um, you have to walk barefoot or wear flip flops or water shoes or something. So I choose to walk barefoot and it's just, it gets hot sometimes, the pavement. Uh, sometimes you don't know what you're stepping in. You can't really keep a water park perfectly clean. So so leave a comment in the comment section about what you, which one you prefer, Hurricane Harbor or Six Flags. They're very different. You know, one's a roller coaster, game amusement park and the other ones you know water slides water rides you know wave pools lazy rivers stuff like that so very different but you know i'm sure everyone has their preference oh another thing I, that annoys me about hurricane harbor is that like me and macy went by herself we just met keaton taylor at six flags they didn't go to hurricane harbor is that if if, if you just go like us two then when we go together everywhere I can't take like my, my wallet, my keys, my phone. So you have to get a locker, and the lockers are like fifteen dollars. So I think I want to get one of those waterproof, like lanyard necklace things. It's like a little pouch that like hangs right over your chest, and you can stick like a phone, season passes, whatever, some cash in it, and a car key. So I might do that and get one of those because I think that'd be cheaper than having to get a locker every time. That's my that's probably my biggest gripe about Hurricane Harbor is that I. I feel like, because I really feel like someone would steal our stuff if it was just sitting under a towel on a random table or a random chair. Like, who's not going to steal something? Anyway, I'll stop ranting. So I think we're going to head to bed. So if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.